Welcome to my video about hymenopter training. To start off, I'm going to go over some quick terms. Hymenopter training refers to the uh, way that bees in, can be trained in order to detect bombs or cancer. Even though it may sound strange, bees are able to be trained just like dogs or cats or even rats. So in the same way you would train a dog to sit, get off a of bed, to lay down, you can train bees to detect sounds and smells. Animals can be trained in a multitude of ways, which include conditioning or applied behavior analysis and things like this. Um, with bees, they focus more on Pavlovian techniques, which I'll discuss a little later on in this video. And when I mention Pavlovian techniques, I'm talking about how the scientist would have a series of experiments where he would take a dog and he would use the sal salvation response that the dog would have in order to train it to respond to a bell and sal salvate without the presence of food. Um, similar techniques are used to train bees. So what they did with the dog is they'd prevent, present it with the food and so the dog would salvate, but they, as they were presenting it with the food they'd also ring a bell. And so eventually they were able to train the dog to salvate without having the food in front of it just by hearing the bell. It's a type of conditioning. I'm not going to focus too much on the behavioral aspects of the dog training. I'm going to focus more about the bee and how that is translated into bee and hymenoptera training, which is what this video is about. So with bees, what they do is they'll present a bee with sugar water, which will trigger its tongue to release. Um, and so this tongue response shows them that the bee can sense that the water is there and so they'll take the bees that immediately show their tongue and they'll move them on to the next level of training. Once they've isolated bees that respond immediately to the sugar water they'll start introducing a scent along with the sugar water so that the bee begins to associate the scent with the tr uh, sugar water so it will release its tongue when it smells and when it's presented with sugar water and slowly they'll take away the sugar water and just present the bee with the scent which will trigger its tongue response. So why is it important to us to train bees or what can we do with this uh, new thing that we've discovered? There are a lot of practical applications for training bees to detect certain scents. One of the most important ones is bomb detection or chemical detection. These are especially important for places like airports or high security offices or buildings. You know, you also might be asking, well don't we already train dogs to detect bombs? The answer is yes, but bees are faster to train and um, is a lot cheaper and more effective. Bees have better senses than dogs. Now scientists have also started working with using bees to detect cancer and using them in a more medical approach than um, an anti-terrorism or counter-terrorism type of application. And with this they've started finding scents that are indicators of cancer and what they're doing is they're using the same techniques that have been used for bomb sniffing bees and are instead applying them with these scents that indicate cancer and diabetes which are also which is also something that's being done with dogs um, but again with bees it's cheaper and it's a lot quicker to train bees than it is dogs dogs can take several months to train and bees are anywhere from an hour or two to train and this type of technology is being updated constantly some people might be asking, well, what happens to the bees, or how are the bees treated during these experiments? Well, in general, the bees are only used for a couple of days, and then they're released back to where they were originally harvested. 
And the animals are kept happy because if you don't have happy animals, you're not going to have the results you want. Again, it's the same with dogs. If you're training dogs and not keeping them happy, you're not going to get the same results as you would with a dog that you're keeping happy. So in conclusion, bees are quicker and cheaper to train than dogs or other animals, and they have multiple applications which can go from anywhere from counterterrorism to medical usage.